Hi, my name's Dan. I'm a village agent for the Sedgemoor team, Community Council for Somerset, and welcome to another Talking Cafe. Today, I am lucky enough to be speaking to Janine Evans, who is one of our interfaith workers, is part of the Somerset Diverse Community team. Um, we are doing this presentation to ensure that people are made aware of our upcoming Interfaith Week and to explain all about the Interfaith and Belief Network. Janine kindly came to the Talking Cafe to give us that information. So, uh, hi Janine, please um, go ahead and tell us all about what you're promoting, please. Hi Daniel, thank you very much for having me. Um, yes, Somerset Diverse Communities, which some of you may already be familiar with, has another level. So uh, while we bring people from diverse communities together with the mainstream and with each other, we are now looking at bringing people of faith and belief communities together to support them in ways uh, of engaging with the wider community. Uh, so I have been employed as the Interfaith and Belief Coordinator to create a network um, across Somerset so that we can identify people from various faiths and beliefs to find ways of supporting them, find ways of engaging them with the wider community, and perhaps they have ways of supporting their communities in times of need um, that we can emulate and build on. So it's really to create a network across Somerset of, of people from different faiths and beliefs um, to build a stronger, more cohesive Somerset. That's fantastic. Do you feel that, that there's certain parts of Somerset that are um, that are more interlinked than others at this time, with especially with the faith in the the support you know that people are offering at the moment, especially with the um, the situations that we're facing at the moment with regards to the crisis between heating and eating and you know older people. And uh, do you think that there's some people that could really be looked upon as a as a shining example to help other people that are just coming into the community that want to link in with that sort of thing? Um, I think that each community is really supporting their own. Uh, I think the um, rural nature of Somerset makes it very difficult for people to link across um, villages and areas. And I think, you know, perhaps if you're in Yeovil, you're in Bridgewater, you're in Taunton, um, you know, support is much more available for you. Um, but then when you get to the more rural areas such as Cheddar and, um, um, you know, um crew kern you know those smaller the smaller villages um uh then i think it's it's difficult for people to link into things and i think mm. that that's why um this network um is is going to be something good it's new it's only just come about this year so we're still in its infancy but our aim is to be able to create something that people can just go onto our website um, and click on the directory and engage and connect with people of their own faiths um, if they need help or connect with people of other faiths if they you know want to have a, an event or invite people to come and speak at their school or you know connect in some way about learning each other learning from yeah. each other there's obviously there's um there's a wonderful way of promoting this sort of thing to also act up as a warm space and and and, and give people the opportunity to uh, not only uh, communicate with each other and get to know each other, but also, you know, take advantage of the fact that there's, you know, going to be certain isolations over the winter period. You know, there's some people that are feeling somewhat chillier than they should do due to uh, everything that's been on the news somewhat. So, I mean, there's uh, real silver linings to that sort of thing as well to ensure that people can not only get together, but they can also comfort each other in, you know, in challenging times as well. Um, you said that you said that everything that's being set up at the moment is 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 in its infancy. How can you uh, how can you see that progressing, you know, month on month and, you know, year on year? How would you like that to build up into something, you know, to, uh, you know, truly be respected nationwide now? Um, okay, so what what the project um, aim is, is really to identify people from various faith and belief communities across Somerset 
to be involved in a network, to um, engage with people on any level. So, for an example, we've been working with people in the mental health uh, field who were saying that they have difficulty um, knowing how to engage with uh, people who are of different faiths. So perhaps you have a Muslim mm. patient or client yeah. um, and you don't understand the rules and regulations around their praying. Perhaps you have a Hindu or a Buddhist and you don't understand that, you know, flowers and, and deity and things like that are important to them. So um, so we're hoping to, we're in the infancy of creating a network of um, medical professionals from various faiths so that they can link on to them and they can just ask a question by email of my patient is doing this, I'm not quite sure, you know, what, what are the religious connotations um, and, um, and just to give them that little bit of support on, on being respectful to people of other faiths and beliefs um, because we can't all know what everybody else believes and, and how they work and what they do and what their requirements are. So um, smaller networks like that uh, to help people um, with their day-to-day -day engagement uh, through their work or through their communities, but also a, la a larger network so that when Interfaith Week comes again next year, because it's a national thing and it's been happening for many, many years, but I do believe this is the first time it's going to be held across Somerset with our various partners. And, um, and so we're hoping that this will um, build on year on year so that Interfaith Week becomes an educational place um, where people can stop and engage and engage with people of different faiths and beliefs and uh, gather information to help them in their work or their daily lives or with their community. So the first event um, that we have is the Interfaith Roadshow and that we have partnered with St Margaret's Hospice and um, the uh, NHS Somerset Trust. And so because we're partnering with um, the, uh, the medical field, uh, we have invited people to engage who are also from a, a wellness or healing background. So we have uh, people coming offering um, uh, various types of um, um, I don't want to use the word, it's not a treatment, but like energy healing and uh, Buddhist meditation and um, uh, Reiki and healing. such like, yeah. Uh, kind of like Reiki, but I think it's a little bit different, but but something similar to Reiki, I yeah. believe. Um, yeah. yeah. So um, so the, the emphasis this year, because our partners are St. Margaret's Hospice and the NHS Trust Somerset, we are looking at a, a healing wellness theme and uh, we'll be at the various libraries. So... Um, uh, November 14th uh, was at uh, Taunton, um, uh, 15th Yeovil and 18th at Glastonbury, all in the all in those libraries. And if you go to our website, you'll be able to uh, see the dates on that. Um, but uh, it's also a, an opportunity for people to engage with people of other faiths, chat to them. I mean, at this point in time, we have our first Hindu prime minister. And so people will be talking a lot about faith and about different faiths and what they mean and what they mean to the changing face um, of Britain. And so this is an opportunity where uh, there's living book, a Baha'i lady that you can sit and you can chat to. So you, you, you kind of check her out. You don't take her out of the library, but <laughs> you can sit with her for 15 minutes or so and, and have a conversation. It doesn't need to be about faith. Can be about her family, your family. Can be about anything. It can just be about engagement, or you can ask questions about the various faiths. Um, I'm going to be giving a talk on Islam because I'm actually a practicing Muslim, so I'll be giving a talk on Islam, and uh, you can talk to me. And I can answer any questions you may have. Um, so we're hoping this is going to be the first of every year an event, a roadshow throughout Somerset to. Um, engage with the people and offer them um, experiences that they may not otherwise have. Where will you be in order to, uh, in, in order for people to listen and learn? Okay, so Taunton, Monday the 14th of February uh, of November, Yeovil the 15th and Glastonbury the 18th. But You'll be at all get, three yourself? I'll be, at, I'll be at all three, yes. That's fantastic. Um, yes, and so all the information is on our website. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. So, obviously, you'll you'll be discussing with about the your your you know your personal Muslim beliefs, etc. But people of 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 all sorts of different faiths can you know can come and you know chat to you, like you said, chat to you, chat to each other, educate themselves, and um, and 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 realize there's so many different connotations around beliefs. I mean, there's no stigma to to educating yourselves around certain things. I mean, the the beliefs have been through 
through Somerset, the Southwest, nationwide for many, many, many moons. And it's, um, you know, mm. it's a wonderful opportunity. And this is a, you know, this, this is a, you know, quite frankly, a fantastic opportunity for people to not only, um, not only open their minds about uh, the, the, the way that other people, you know, find comfort through belief, but also, also realize there's certain parts of other beliefs that they can really connect to their self but they you know they didn't realize and, and and you know until an opportunity such as this has become presented to them that they can um you know that they they you know they can find these uh they can find these facts out and um and and, and obviously as i said it is it is challenging times at the moment so anything that gives anyone some sort of comfort in, in any way, shape or form is a wonderful thing, especially something, you know, that's been established un, un, under the radar, so to speak, in, in in our county anyway, for such a long time. It's, you know, it's, it's an untapped gem to a lot of people. So a, an opportunity like this is, is, is something to, um, is something to really embrace. Um, are you uh, alone in your role or is there others also that are assisting in this kind of promotion? Nope, just me. <laughs> it's just you at the moment, but um, obviously. Yeah, just at the moment, yeah. So we have mm. the Somerset Diverse Community Team, which are very yep. supportive, um, mm -hmm. but their role is really about diverse communities. And so because this is a new role, um, this is really I've been brought in to, um, to identify and engage with um, various faith and belief communities. So at the moment, it, I'm the only one doing doing this role, but obviously supported by the team and the wider CCS group. So um, we also have, I'll just tell you a little bit more about the other things we have please, going on in Interfaith please. Week. So we have a family day, which I think would be great for people to come to on the 19th of November um, and uh, on Saturday. And um, that's at Exmoor Coastal um, Trust. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, so they are regenerating their, their project is to regenerate a whole pile of the Exmoor coast. And so um, we've partnered with them and uh, we're doing a tree planting day. So that's up at Minehead at Holnicott Estate. And so come along. Um, we can, if you actually also go to the website and uh, book, um, although bookings may be full uh, by now, but you can certainly try. Um, we can see if we can help with some... Um, uh, transport as well. We are putting on a couple of buses to go from local areas. So um, if you're quick, you might be able to still get onto that through our website. Um, but also we're hoping that that will be also an annual thing that we do during Interfaith mm. Week. So it's kind of my job to identify partners who, who want to engage in this way and then help support them into uh, uh, establishing, you know, working committees, um, uh, people identify people who want to be involved, and then just have this as their own events. So kind of like the Somerset Diverse Communities, we're not really there to run things for people, but we're there to support communities to establish themselves and then run events with our support. Um, and so, but of course, you know, I'll be there to obviously help and and uh, and steer mm. it in the beginning because it's new. We also have the Yeovil Art Exhibition, um, which is um, a uh, exhibition of people around nature and their faith, and uh, it's called Natural Reflections. And so we have um, fabulous artists from across Somerset um, that are displaying their work. Um, we have uh, we have audio, we have visual, um, we have a whole pile of artists. So go down to the Yeovil Art Space that runs until the 19th of September and um, engage on a spiritual level about how people are engaging with their environment and the earth. So, um, so yeah, so there's, there's quite a few things going on this week. You know, when we think about interfaith, we think about people from other places and exotic places and all of that type of stuff all coming together and, you know, um, being equal in number. But in actual fact, um, if you look at the demographics, particularly for Somerset, for every white mainstream Christian, you've probably got half a Sikh. Um, so, the, so the numbers in comparison are really very small. Like, for example, the Yeovil Muslim community is less than a thousand strong. So, um, so you know, when we are asking people from minority faiths and communities to engage with the wider mainstream, it's often difficult to actually find 
people um, because they are small in numbers. Um, or if they're not small in numbers, perhaps they haven't engaged in these ways before. And so mm. it's difficult. It's very difficult to stand up there and say, hey, look at me, I, you know, you think I'm different um, and uh, and talk about it. You have to have a lot of, um, first of all, you have to have a lot of confidence in yourself. You have to have a lot of confidence that you can answer people's questions in a way that isn't going to build um, isn't going to break down bridges rather than build them because sometimes the way people explain things are not the way we hear it. Um, and so, you know, there can be miscommunication when someone's asked a question. And so you yourself have to be confident that you are able to engage in a way that answers the questions properly so the person listening to the answers understands and it opens their hearts and their minds um, to looking at things perhaps a little differently. Uh, so there's a lot of barriers to um, to engaging minority faiths and beliefs with the wider community. And they're often physical as well. You know, to get someone to go from Yeovil to Taunton, especially with the price of petrol, yeah. um, is, is quite difficult. So, um, so this network we are hoping, um, you know, we've had a great, a great response, really good response from people. That's really um, positive, yeah. But we are hoping that this will be a way of, you know, perhaps people having a discussion on Zoom or, um, uh, you know, I'm going to be in the Oval for the week for work uh, for some reason or other. Maybe I can, you know, drop into the mosque, say hello. You know, just just, just a, really an introduction. This, this, I, My hope is that this week and certainly my work this year is going to be really an introduction to what mm. is possible um, because uh, and also two communities are very small and with the cost of living crisis the whole variety of things that are happening um, they are trying to deal with their own community they're trying to deal with their own members and support their own members so then to ask them to come along to all of these other events um, is also challenging for them so we we do face some challenges but the goodwill is certainly there and that's where you need to start I do believe that you. Um, we can finish up now with uh, a video that you have that you, you'd like people to see. Is would it be okay for you to put that on? Um, yes, we just have a couple about the um, the things that are going on, and it gives people a little bit of an idea about um, what's happening in Interfaith Week. So um, yes, yeah, so one is about the road show, uh, which Fabulous. would be fantastic for um, uh, religious education teachers chaplains, um, school teachers. Next year, we are hoping to engage schools. Um, but because this was our first one, you know, we weren't sure of the logistics, how things were going to work. So next year, we're really going to be inviting school groups to come along um, to the roadshow. Um, but in the meantime, for this one, if there's any religious education teachers or teachers, um, anybody within the education sector, you know, please, uh, please come along to your local one Fabulous. and engage with us. So, yeah. so we have the roadshow. And we also And then we also have the tree planting day, the family tree planting day, um, which I think will be great. Yes, we are hoping that it's not going to be raining, but you never know. <laughs>
Always be prepared. hundred percent, hundred percent. Bring your wellies and ideal. Mm. Well, um, your time's very valuable, and I'm very grateful that you've um, you've given us some to uh, to bring this message out to people and make sure that people are aware that uh, Interfaith Week is 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 something that's truly interactive and um, and take the opportunity to uh, be a part of it. So uh, thank you very much, Janine. I'm thank very you grateful very much to your for giving time. me the opportunity. Oh, thank you very it's, much. It's, it's a true pleasure. So, um, yeah, all the best. I wish you all the luck in the world that it meets all the expectations that it should do and all the hard work that you've put into it. So um, that's another Talking Cafe for this week, and I shall look forward to seeing you guys next time i got the opportunity to present one. So um, thank you all. I wish you well. Take care.